It's being widely reported that Barack Obama is sending U.S. special forces to the Russian border along with NATO troops and thousands of U.S. Army troops. A massive deployment of U.S. and NATO troops to Poland in the Baltic states is underway. According to a December 30th statement by German Armed Forces Press and Information Center, as part of the NATO operation Atlantic Resolve, three U.S. transport ships are expected in Bremerhaven in the first week of January. The statement noted that in early November, soldiers of the 3rd Brigade in the 4th U.S. Infantry Division began loading the ships with vehicles and containers. Overall, more than 2,500 pieces of cargo, trucks, combat vehicles, trailers, and containers were initially shipped to Germany and then transported to Poland and other countries in Central and Eastern Europe. The material is to arrive in the period of between January 6th and 8th by maritime transport in Bermanhaven and will then be transported to Poland by rail and military convoys by approximately January 20th. Earlier this month, a German newspaper called the Arms Bill up the greatest redeployment operation of the U.S. Army to Germany since 1990. More than 2,000 tanks, jeeps, and trucks are being deployed for NATO exercises in Eastern Europe that will continue for nine months. According to the statements by the U.S. Army, 4,000 additional troops and 2,000 tanks will contribute to and strengthen the alliance, deterrence, and defense. Colonel Todd Bertulis, deputy head of logistics of the Stuttgart-based U.S. command in Europe, said that the operation will ensure that the necessary combat power is brought to the right place in Europe at the right time. Lieutenant General Frederick Ben Hodges, commander of U.S. forces in Europe, said three years after the last American tanks left the continent, we need to get them back. He made this statement during a visit to the logistics schools in that area. He told journalists that the measures were a response to Russian invasion of Ukraine and the illegal annexation of Crimea. Now, tensions between Washington and the Kremlin have reached Cold War levels amid reports Vladimir Putin is deploying nuke-ready missiles in the Russian province of Kilingrad, which borders Poland and Lithuania. The U.S. and its NATO allies will send battalions of up to 1,200 to each of the three Baltic states, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, and Poland, by spring this year, reports the New York Times. He said Iskander missiles capable of carrying nuclear warheads have been deployed. There are also S-400 missiles in modernized jets in the area. The real question is, what exactly is Obama trying to provoke with Russia before he leaves office in 17 short days? What do you think? Is Obama trying to start a war with Russia to stop Trump from being sworn in on the 20th of January? Or is this just NATO and the United States flexing its muscles over in Europe. Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.